to a monthly budget with me. I'm gonna be sharing everything I spent in the month of February from coffee to bills to travel expenses and gifts. And then I'm also gonna be creating a budget for March and I always share like kind of how I think of my monthly budgeting amounts and also sharing how I'm working towards my money goals and things like that. I know I normally film these at my kitchen counter but we're, we're having a little bit of a different setup today. So let me know if you like the change up in the monthly resets, how they're filmed like at my counter or if in my normal filming spot right here is fine too. Whether you use the Dream Achieve workbook, whether you have a monthly budgeting spreadsheet like I do, I always link the one I get from Etsy below, it's like $5. Or if you just use a piece of paper and a pencil, then grab whatever you use for your budget and we can kind of go through our budgets together. First off, let's talk about February money-wise. If you wanna hear about everything else that has to do with my resets, like my goal setting, cleaning, highs and lows from February, I put all of that in my monthly resets, which I will link in the description box and in the cards. My March one is already live for you guys. So in case you don't know, I work for myself full-time, which also means I have a variable income. So each month I make different amounts of money. Some months are high, some months are low. February, I had more money coming in than I normally do because I was getting paid for influencer campaigns, brand campaigns that were from like November and December, which are two of the biggest months like for brand campaigns in the influencer world because of the holidays and Q4. So I was finally getting paid out from those big campaigns that I did. And so I was making more money in February technically um, with like how much was in my bank account. And so I started to experience what I think they call lifestyle creep, where basically if you get a raise or once you start making more money, your lifestyle and purchases also increase. And so you think that you're gonna have, oh, all this money left over for savings, or it's gonna be so much easier to live since you're making more money, but actually your expenses move up to match that. For me, it was just a one month thing. It's not like I'm making more money significantly every month, but I did kind of notice me being like, oh yeah, I can you know buy that extra dinner out or maybe get a cocktail with dinner um, or buy this little beauty service which I ended up doing um, just because I had more money in my bank account than I've had in previous months you know it's definitely a thing and so maybe if you're feeling that where like maybe you started to make a little bit more money or you have a variable income and it changes month to month let me know like on the months that you have more in your bank account do you tend to spend more I think it's really interesting to see and I think the fact that I was like conscious of myself justifying purchases because I was had more money in my account this month is a good like starters point. I was at least consciously making those decisions instead of just not even realizing it. So anyway, I just wanted to preface that. I still had a really good month spend wise because a few of my expenses that are usually higher were actually lower. So where I overspent in some areas, it kind of balanced out, but we're about to get into all of that. In case you're wondering, I put all my personal expenses on my Chase Sapphire Preferred credit card. I've had it for a year and a half now. I absolutely love the point system. Um, I love all the features, things like cashback, things like travel points. I use some of my points to pay for a flight that I'm taking in two days for a little beach trip book retreat um, with some of my friends in March. And so that trip, that travel was basically free because I was just using points that I had earned on things that I spent money on that I would have spent money on anyway. So that's why I love credit card points. I did a lot of research before choosing what my like everyday credit card was gonna be for all my everyday purchases and this one got a really good review. So I'll leave my little like affiliate thing down below if you're at all interested. But of course, research it for yourself. See if you're at a good place for that um, in your financial goals. But all right, let's start with these monthly expenses. We are gonna look at February. So I go ahead and input all of these just so I'm not doing like the math and stuff on camera. Um, but for gas, I budgeted $60, which is kind of average what I've been spending every month. I didn't drive a lot this month, obviously, so I only spent $40.31. Lyft and Uber though was a bit more. I budgeted 15, I spent 33. This was also parking actually. I think I only took like one Lyft or something this month, but I did have to pay for some parking when I was like going out to get drinks with friends and stuff. So that's also included here. For coffee, I budgeted $35, which is about eight to $9 a week. So a coffee, a coffee and some change every week. I spent a little bit more than this, but only by $10. I spent $46, which I feel like was pretty good. Cause I also, was at the airport and stuff this month um, and I'm gonna be again. So like, you know, airport coffees are a must. <laughs> 
Okay, eating out, I was shocked. I budgeted myself pretty low, only $100, which comes out to like $25 a week. And I spent only $77. Um, again, I think this is before you get down on yourself and you're like, Hannah, how do you spend so little on eating out? I do have some caveats, so I just want to be honest and transparent. A few of the meals and our nice Valentine's Day dinner my boyfriend paid for, so I got to have a nice Valentine's Day dinner out and that's not reflected here. And also one of these weekends I was with my family my parents and my brother um, in North Carolina and so very graciously my parents pay for meals when we're traveling with them. So just so you know, that's like two weekends out of the month that I was not buying my own meals out. The other two weekends, that's probably where the 77 came from. I don't want anyone like looking at my budget and being like, oh my gosh, she spent so little. I need to get to that point. Like this isn't for you to be like, you have to spend this much or you should spend more or spend less. This is just information out there because I think it's good to be open and talk about finances. Okay, moving on though. Groceries, I was also kind of shocked. Um, I budgeted 300 and I spent 150 so pretty good that for this month. It was also a short month. Um, entertainment, I budgeted 50 but ended up spending 106 I got, I reserved a pickleball court in Nashville for my friends for one Sunday, that was $10. And then also my friend um, offered me a ticket to Olivia Rodrigo, this is actually next month in March, but I just went ahead and put it in February's budget because I then mowed her in February. And she got a great deal on these tickets, that's why I said yes. Um, so I'm gonna go see Olivia Rodrigo for $96. So that's very exciting and I justified it. I felt like $96 was worth it for that ticket. So entertainment was a little bit higher this month. Okay, now we're getting into the two categories that really, uh, this is where I overspent, but again, we're not gonna be too down on ourselves. I think it was allowed in my budget. I could still, you know, add money to my savings, pay my bills, everything else. For beauty, I budgeted 100 because I knew I wanted to um, like get my nails done and get my hair cut. So I did that, I got my nails done, I got my hair cut, and I also got my brows laminated for the first time. So three beauty treatments, which is way more than I normally do, but I just, if you've been following along my Instagram and other YouTube videos, I was just looking for a little spring refresh. I was like, I need to change up my look. Obviously I haven't changed it up a ton, but it just makes me feel better to like have fresh nails, my hair really needed trimmed, my eyebrows needed taken care of. So just have a little spring glow up. It was needed in my books just to make me feel better, so. That's why I did that. <laughs> Shopping and personal, I budgeted 100, I spent 194. This is things like Amazon and Target runs, little things like that. Um, so yeah, also over what I was wanting to spend, but things just kept piling up, it seemed. Okay, for gifts, I was going to put together a little Valentine's Day basket for my boyfriend, which I did. I budgeted 30, spent 40. And then for pet, for my cat Spruce, I budgeted 50 for like litter and food and ended up spending $40. I didn't have to spend anything in travel because all that stuff was paid in previous months um, or it's considered in Lyft and Uber and I didn't really have an other expense either. So, drum roll. My goal was to spend $890 in like these variable controllable expenses and I ended up spending a little bit over that but not too much with spending $955 this month. So still under a thousand for like my everyday like variable expenses, which I feel like is pretty good for me. Again, for where I'm at, for what I'm comfortable with. Moving over to bills, we have things like my internet, which I split with a roommate, electricity I split, um, water, we haven't gotten that bill yet, rent, pet insurance, and actually class pass I didn't have to pay this month because when you guys use my affiliate link, I literally have a link that everyone gets when you join ClassPass. I share that with you guys often because I highly recommend ClassPass. I have the lowest amount of credits and I still feel like I get to do a lot of workout classes every month. Um, but anyway, when you guys sign up using my link, I get like $30, which is basically a month free. So thanks to you guys, whoever signed up um, and started using ClassPass, I didn't have to pay for my ClassPass this month. So that's thanks to you guys. <laughs> Contributed $200 to my Roth IRA. put, um, you know, my 160 towards my student loans, 338 towards my car payments. Um, and then also I have been working on building up my general savings. So I transferred $333 into my savings. And I think I, my goal is to build up a savings of around $4,000, basically kind of like a month of expenses to have as an emergency fund. So we're slowly building that up by adding in 
$333 every month for the next 12 months. <laughs> okay, so here's just some first, if you're into pie charts, here's a little expense breakdown of where I spent most of my money this month, which it was usually my biggest expenses are groceries and eating out like for food. But this month it was beauty and shopping and personal along with groceries and entertainment. Um, it's always so interesting to see. Okay, and those were my February expenses. Now let's hop over to March. So I have my, since I just made a copy of the spreadsheet, the same expected values are the same, um, but I'm going to go ahead and delete these and then we're going to start brand new and fresh. So if you guys haven't seen one of my videos before, basically how I kind of figure out what I'm going to spend each month is I think about my month as a whole. What do I have going on? What's already purchased? What needs to be purchased? Am I running out of things? Are there any birthdays coming up? Things I need to buy gifts for, etc. So for example, I am going on two trips this month, both to the Carolinas, one for a little book retreat, that flight's already been paid for, and one for Easter with my family. I We've also already gotten that flight done, um, but I do need to, and transportation's taken care of for both of those as well, like from the airport, which is so amazing, um, and food actually, surprisingly. So all of that has kind of been paid for. So even though I have those two big trips, all those stuff has been prepaid. The Olivia Rodrigo tickets for my entertainment bill have been prepaid. I do have a baby shower that I'm not able to attend, but I still wanna send a gift. So I think about that. And then like the middle of weeks, I'll be here in Nashville, probably wanting to go out to eat, grab coffee with friends, things like that. So for gas, I think that budget of $60 was really good. I may actually even do 50 because I'm gonna be away for like two weeks out of the month. Um, Lyft and Uber, I'm going to put 30. Mm, no, I'm gonna say 20. Coffee, I'm gonna move it up since we spent 45 last month. I'm gonna budget 40 now, because again, those little airport coffees, they just hit different. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be wanting them. Eating out, I am going to budget 150. I was pretty good with my $100 last month, but we're gonna do 150. Groceries, since I was but way over budgeted myself, I am going to bring that down to 200. Entertainment, I'm gonna make 50, because again, some stuff have already been bought. Beauty, I shouldn't have to get any beauty services, but I'm still gonna say um, 25, just in case like little things pop up. Shopping slash personal, I'm gonna say 100. Again, just for little things here or there that I may need. Baby shower gift, and oh, I also got my friends a little coffee gift card for watching Spruce while I was gone, so, um, or while I'm going to be gone this weekend. So that was $15, and then probably, I'll say $50 total. Um, for Spruce, I think $50 is a good monthly budget for pet supplies. I shouldn't be buying any other flights or other travel expenses this month outside of what I've already got. So we're gonna put zero and other, you guys know I like putting 50 for other just in case. So my budget for March is a little bit lower, but again, I think the traveling and being out of town for two weeks is going to help. And like where I'm going this weekend, there's nothing on the island. We're just gonna be reading and working and sitting on the beach. So I know that like I'll have one dinner out on that trip and that's like literally all that I'm probably gonna spend. So kind of amazing to actually go to this place where there's nothing to do but read and work. <laughs> Okay, so my total for my March budget is $785, keeping it low again because I know that I'll want to increase it and want to spend more because I have more money in my bank account. But again, trying to avoid that lifestyle creep and trying to just keep expenses low when I can so that if something comes along that I wanna invest in or I wanna move more money to pay off my loans or my car or put in my savings, I can do that because we're really working towards my money goals this year. So that is my March budget with me. If you guys followed along or this gives you inspiration to budget for yourselves, let me know because that would just make me so happy. I love hearing when my money or finance videos are helpful or motivational for you guys because it's not always the most fun at getting on top of your finances, but the amount of like peace and clarity that you can often find by having a monthly budget or just tracking your expenses is so, so, so helpful. So I'm going to keep doing these every month out of the year for you guys. You don't have to worry about it. I wanna do these fun little questions at the end of the video. So if you've watched to the end, if you're watching right now, comment below, what is the most expensive coffee you've ever purchased? There's one in Nashville that with a dollar tip, it came to like $9 and something cents. So almost $10 for an iced latte. So let me know, what is the most expensive coffee you've ever purchased? I would love to know. That's the fun little question of the video. <laughs> Okay, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Again, I'm so thankful for you. I love you all very much. And here is to an amazing, amazing March. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.